This is Twit. Thanks to Sandro George on Twitter who forwarded us this article from Inverse about the 12 coolest uses for AR kit. Now, we've already talked about your interest in the AR hot dog, uh, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the coolest, not necessarily from this article, but what's the coolest thing you've seen so far uh, that from a developer who's used ARKit? Oh, man, there's so many cool things. Uh, when I think of cool, I'm more often thinking of something that's like super practical. And I love the tape measure, the AR tape measure. And people were kind of showing how it, how accurate the, the AR tape measure was. And so you could, you know, in theory, kind of if you had a, a home project and you're trying to figure out uh, where to hang your curtains or how how big a curtain rod you needed or I don't know where you wanted to put your dresser as you were moving into a new place, what have you, you could just pull out your phone and do the measurements with that as opposed to having to go grab a real tape measure like an animal. So <laughs> I think that that's some pretty cool technology that um, shows what's possible. And honestly, all of it just amazes me. I'll be honest with you. I think so much of it is so cool. Yes, there it is right there. I, that's incredible to me. And the, the accuracy is is very interesting. So as long as you shed a little light on the subject and you know you, you have a bit of a steady hand, there are always the uh, caveats, then you're going to get a pretty good measure there. And whenever you're not doing that, you can just like peek through uh, portals into other worlds. And I think that's fascinating as well. But Mostly I'm interested in the interactive stuff that these developers are starting to build, where you can kind of use your phone or a tap to start to add uh, to the experience. Yeah, I'm amazed by all of this. I like the practical stuff. As you said, I like the impractical stuff, like uh, being able to look out onto a hand, you know, a homemade man-made lake and see the Titanic uh, floating by. I think that was in this article or uh, painting the one thing from this article that I couldn't really get was there someone developed an app where you could see your food uh, before you ordered it, like see it on your table, yeah. which I thought was, I don't think we need that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm right there with you. I, when I saw that too, I was kind of like, uh, no, let's look at some other cool things. Cause that's a little silly. Yeah. I mean, you could like spin it around, but it's just like, if I'm already in the place and I can smell the food and I can see the actual real food, it's always going to be more detailed and more realistic. Um, I think one of the other cool things that I saw, and uh, this was pretty <laughs> early conceptual stage, um, too bad you can't reach out and actually like pick it up and start to play around with the food, but um, a pretty early conceptual stage was like an Airbnb integration where you can map out your home. And so then when someone comes into your house uh, to stay for Airbnb and they're like, oh man, how do I change the air conditioner? I can tap and say, you know, I want to change the AC. And then it'll show like a guiding path on the floor and, you know, it'll point in, in virtual space, like here's where the AC is. And it'll even give you information, like an overlay to show you this is how you turn it up. This is how you turn it down. There's so many applications for that in so many different ways and places. And like I could think of, because I, I end up doing tech support for family members, as I'm sure a lot of people who watch and listen to this show do. Being able to record like an AR experience that shows, you know, a family member how to operate the DVD player or what have you, I think would be really incredible. And yes, they'd have to like tap an app and open it up and be able to hold up their phone. But I think that's a lot easier than like having to read through instructions and not knowing exactly where to press. So that, I mean, the implications are Wow, it just sound, seems so exciting and so so many possibilities there. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't be happy till we have holograms. And so I could see how if I were staying in an Airbnb and then the owner was a hologram, I was like, what What can I help you? Here's how the blinds work. That's <laughs> what I would like. <laughs> that, yeah, that would be really neat um, until it gets a little creepy because it's like, okay, you can leave now. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to tuck me in, the hologram. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't want that. You okay. can have that. <laughs> okay.